Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Trail Makers, and we are back trying to break some more race records on Race Island. And today's race is the underwater race. So we're going to be building some submarines and seeing if we can uh, beat some records on the leaderboard. Now, which league we're going to be in, let's go ahead and um, oh, get into the build mode here and see how many power cores an underwater propeller costs. One power core. Okay. So if we have one, then that is go-kart league. If we have more than one, then we're in muscle league is two to five. So I'm thinking I'm going to go for muscle league, two to five propellers. So let's check out the muscle league leaderboard here. All right. So we got 18 seconds at the number one spot. Number 10 is 42 seconds. I have no context for this race. I haven't done this race in probably like a year. So I don't remember how long the course actually is. So is 42 seconds great or is it just pretty good? We're gonna try to break as many records as we can. I don't think we're gonna break the record like the number one spot, but we'll break records. We'll break somebody's record somewhere. I don't know how many people have uh, participated in this race. I don't know if we're gonna get into the top 10, but uh, let's at least try and see what happens make some modifications fine-tune things and hopefully be able to complete this course i don't think this is the easiest course to drive around in but um i got some ideas and we're gonna see what happens okay so obviously we got to start with the diving belt how the rest of the vehicle is gonna look i'm not sure but i think i'm going to experiment with the paddle yeah, what are they called paddle paddles Paddle, it's just a paddle. So I know that fins and stuff, like the tail fins and these and the wings work underwater, but I think I'm gonna go with the paddles. The paddles are way lighter and we'll just see how this works. All right, let's get building. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I've got. This thing has no buoyancy in it whatsoever. Like I didn't use any of the um, ballast or anything like that. I pretty much just got its basic controls. So I'm hoping this is gonna work, but on the sides here, this is actually going to be my underwater pitch. And I think it's easier to have a pitch be in the front of the vehicle than in the back, just in case we're rubbing up against the ground or anything. It'll be easier to lift off the ground if I'm not trying to put my tail into the ground in order to pitch up. And then the tail is where is going to give us not only directional stability. Oh, we need a vertical stabilizer somewhere, don't we? But anyway, the tail is going to be our roll. So these are actually just going to uh, steer opposite of each other. So that way we can uh, hopefully get ourselves a decent amount of roll going on. Now, I don't know if we need a vertical stabilizer. I feel like we should just have something like this going on. <laughs> I don't know if that really, if that's gonna be it sufficient. Or I might actually be able to put them on the outsides like this and then use the three by one wedge in this way. There we go. Cause this isn't making myself any wider than the front is. So that shouldn't affect the aerodynamics too much. Although it does, it does actually, I think it does affect it just a little bit. And when I say aerodynamics, I really mean hydrodynamics, but you know, you know what I mean. It's the same, same principle, it's just underwater in a more dense medium. All right, so I don't know what to expect from this. Let's uh, go underwater. This has exactly five cores. Oh boy, oh no, come back, come back. <laughs> All right, we're in. Let's go ahead and check the controls. We got our pitch. Whoa, that's weird. Oh, one of them, oh, they get stuck, really? They get stuck? That's not gonna be good for control if some of them get stuck like that. Is there really like a collision happening? Yeah, sometimes it gets stuck, sometimes it doesn't. All right, I found the issue. The issue was that for some reason, one of the keys was on toggle. I don't know why, I don't know how that happened, but this should hopefully fix 
the issue of those getting stuck. Please fix the issue of these getting stuck. Yes, okay, no more getting stuck. This is good. All right, now, now we can actually test this thing out, see how it feels. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. I don't know if we're fast for five engines or slow for five engines. This feels pretty controllable, but I feel like we're going kind of slow. 18 seconds? Oh, well, I guess the best thing we can do is just give it a try and see what happens. All right, let's get into the start zone. Here it goes. Eh, I could have started way earlier than that, but man, picking up off the ground is so easy. All right, here we go. Man, this is, um, yeah, I'm starting to feel really slow now. Eight, we're already, we're already halfway to 18 seconds. And we've just gotten through, like, the second checkpoint. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I feel really, really, really slow. We are... So How did somebody do this in 18 seconds? Oh, man. Well, after we finish this first round, then we'll be able to see where we stand. And also where... Uh, we'll, see, we'll see the ghosts of some of the other cars or submarines near us in time. But, man, I am doing absolutely terrible. We're not even going to make it into the top 10, which right then again, top 10 is actually kind of, it's kind of a significant position to place in. But um, I don't even know how much more we have to go for. I mean, controllability wise, this thing doesn't feel too bad. I have complete control. I could probably modify um, some of the speeds of like the pitch especially feels really fast. Okay, here's the end. Wow, a whole minute. A whole minute and two seconds. Where does that put us on the leaderboard? Rank 28. Better than 92% of other players. I did not expect that. I felt like we were doing like, we were in like the bottom half. All right, let's go ahead and look at the leaderboard now and see what it tells us. Okay, yeah, I guess number 28 isn't so bad. Number one is still like 18 seconds though. So we're gonna have to make some massive modifications to this. We've used all of our power cores. I feel like we need to really, really slim down. But when it comes to underwater, Honestly, how much faster can you go? Like, there's a lot of resistance underwater. And without adding more engines, where's the speed coming from? Unless they're using some other type of, like, paddling mechanism or something to help them get some speed underwater. But I can't really think of anything that's going to be simple enough to build within this video's time frame. All right, so I'm going to save this as um, our first attempt. And I'm gonna make, I'm probably gonna make a completely different vehicle now and just see how it compares. All right, guys, I have an extremely, extremely experimental build here. So I pretty much made like the fewest parts I can think of really. And uh, we just have a line of underwater propellers. My front is what is gonna be my pitch right here. And then the back is just a stabilizer to keep my pitch under control when I wanna straighten out because otherwise it was just out of control. And what I'm gonna be using for roll is just the seat itself. Because you can see I can actually like roll back and forth. It's very, very, very subtle, but it's something. Like you can see bear, oh, there's a guy underneath us. Wow, he looks really, really fast. Why is he so fast? We have the same engines, don't we? Why is he so fast? Do we need to put, oh, I have an idea. Hmm, I have a new idea after this one. Let's see where, let's see if this improves on our minute time, if we can even complete it, to be honest. Because I don't even know, I honestly don't even know if this is any faster. I wasn't looking at our speeds. We're at 114 max right now. So I don't know if we're gonna get any faster. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We are so much faster. We're gonna get the top 10. We're gonna get the top 10. I think we just got top 10. We are number 10, okay. <laughs> Woo, we got top 10 on the leaderboards. I actually wasn't sure if that was going to happen. So there it is. There it is. Number 10. We got that number 10 spot. We mar we uh, knocked McLawless out of there. And yeah, that was a drastic improvement on our time. Okay, so I'm going to actually uh, improve this vehicle in a way that I don't know if it's going to make a difference. But basically what I'm going to do is kind of reverse it so that the seat is at the back. That way we can make the front a lot more narrow and aerodynamic and then the water gets pushed away as it reaches the back where our diving bell is, if that makes sense. 
Okay, so here is the new design. So rather than have the fins sticking out or the paddle sticking straight out in front because the paddle doesn't have that great aerodynamics, I decided to have it stick back and uh, it's still going to do the same function for pitch, but then it's hidden behind this more aerodynamic block, I think. But you can see we have more of like a needle going on, like a rocket style thing. So I'm hoping that this will cut through the water a little bit faster and we still have this back one here for stabilization. This is completely untested right now. So let's see how this feels. Oh, whoops. I forgot to... <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to actually flip around the direction that the engines are going. I just changed my seat or my seat orientation. All right, and now we should go forward. So let's see. Actually, this looks slower. Yeah, this is actually much worse. The other one was capping out at 114. This one's capping out at like 108. That's really interesting. So, I think there's actually a reason for this. If you look at the diving bell by itself, here, let's just get this. Look at the diving bell's aerodynamics here. These are very, very green. And then compare that to this right here. So you can see that the shade of green actually looks the same, I think. So the diving bell might be just as aerodynamic as these four by one wedges. So having the diving bell in front, pushing all of the water around the rest of the smaller vehicle behind you might be ideal compared to what I'm doing here. Because this, this is not nearly as aerodynamic as the diving bell. You can just see the difference in the colors. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's just the arrow. I think the diving bell is probably better in front. So this whole design is just stupid. It's a bad design. So this design is much better. The difference. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Hmm. I might be able to make this a little bit better because we still have this producing a lot of drag in the front, whereas everything else is hidden behind the diving bell. So what we might have to do is reverse this where the diving bell goes in front. This gets flipped over to go this way. And then we got to stick this back under here and reattach it up here. All right. So this, I think, could potentially work. We made it a little bit longer, slightly heavier by adding this block in here, but aerodynamically speaking, I think it's better than what we had since this paddle is hidden behind the uh, dispersion of the diving bell. All right, let's hop in and see if it uh, peaks past 114. All right, here we go. Just on a quick test run. We're at 115, 16, 17, 18, 19. Look at that. All right, so not a huge increase, but a difference nonetheless. So let's try it with this one. See if we can knock a couple more seconds. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can knock a few seconds off. That was a good start. Okay, man, why are they so fast? I don't really see anything else other than five engines on them. We have five engines. All of our aerodynamics are being dispersed like pretty efficiently by the diving bell, I thought. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how they're getting so fast. We might have to try to get a closer look at what's going on there. Uh oh, this is bad. This is bad. Uh, this is not the best. Oh. All right, let's try to get a closer look at these guys. Um, what? They're using some of like the tail fins and stuff. Are they adding speed with tail fins? I figured that would just make for drag. I don't know what they're doing. So the unfortunate thing too is if they have any moving parts on their vehicle, we won't be able to see it because the ghosts do not show any movement of anything mechanical on their vehicles. So any if they have anything rotating with like servos or whatever, um, no way for us to really know. All right, so I think we might get a faster time here. We should. We've been doing pretty good. All right, and there we go. I think we knocked like three seconds off of our time. Yeah, we knocked three seconds off of our time. We did not improve in our rank, though. What is number nine? All right, number nine. Whoa, number nine is 30 seconds, apparently. So we need to knock another eight seconds off of our time, pretty much, to get into the number nine slot. Now, I gotta be honest, I cannot think of any possible way to make this thing faster right now. So I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do the, uh, try to take a screenshot of some of their vehicles, see if we can analyze what some of the top people were doing, see if that gives us any hints to where we're going wrong or what we can improve on. Okay, here we go. So we have Like the Wind, and by the looks of Like the Wind, he's got one, two, three of the propellers in the back here, and one, two in the front, hidden behind lots of aerodynamics. So perhaps it is the case that the diving bell is worse 
than the wedge blocks. So fortunately, our current creation has room for improvement when it comes to adding things onto the front of the diving bell. So let's see if we can just put a cone in front of our diving bell. But then again, look at this guy over here, number five. He has a completely exposed diving bell, but he has a lot more tail. Like to me, this guy is the same as me, but he has a lot more drag. He's got all these tail fins sticking out. He's got, whoa, are those detachable blocks? What is he detaching? What is going on with that? Is there something, is there a special technique? And then we got, yeah, number one here also seems to use wedge blocks up in the front. All right, so I think that's going to be our next strategy is see if we can add some more cutting capability, cu cutting through the water to the front of our vehicle. Okay, so this was <laughs> seemingly the best solution I could come up with. I just put a giant wedge on the front of this thing and I filled in the empty space with the, the lighter pieces here with the grid blocks. And I don't think that's going to have any effect because the water's going to be pushing around them. Um, but if there was the gap there, the water would fill in the gap and there would be indications of more resistance happening from the diving bell. So let's see if this, what was our max? Like 117, 118 with the previous uh, version. Let's see if this gets us any higher. All right, here it goes. Whoa, look at that. Not a lot, but, but more. We're at 121 now and man turning is a lot more difficult now. Unless I'm in the air. All right, let's give it a try. Let's just see what happens. We can probably improve our time by like two more seconds, maybe, if we get a really, really good run. But uh, I don't really predict a lot happening as far as placement. Yeah, and turning, holy cow, turning is so slow. I might need to add more to this thing because I'm having a lot of trouble uh, rolling. It seems to like stop for some, like I, 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 my vehicle wants to level out and my best is ahead of me right now. I'm not doing any better. Despite being faster, my control is just much worse. I'm catching up to myself now because I'm faster, but yeah, I'm just overall, I have less control. All right, so I did a little bit of experiment here and I put these tail fins on that are actually allowing me to turn uh, or roll really, really easily. But look at the effect it's had on my speed. So those other crafts that have like the bigger tail fins and stuff, I really can't see where they're generating more speed or power from. But just adding that extra drag sticking out at the ends here has knocked like 10 kilometers an hour off of us. So perhaps our length is the issue. So let me experiment with different shapes and see if we can get this thing a little bit more quick. All right, uh, so I made it slightly shorter. I have no idea what kind of impact this is gonna have. So let's find out. Wow, so bad, so bad. This thing is just terrible right now. All I did was move the engines closer together by widening them out a little bit. So I think there are definitely some aerodynamic effects that are not being telegraphed by the arrows because I think it's very obvious that this thing d displaces a little bit more water since um, the body is just wider. However, the aerodynamic effects are pretty much exactly the same when it comes to we only see the arrows dispersing up in the front. We do not see any effects happening here because it's just all one solid body after that. But there are clearly some effects happening. So this design right here is clearly way better as evidenced by when we just go, we just break 90 right away. Like, look at that. Even though when we highlight it, you can see it has the same exact aerodynamic effects. Like here we go, like the wind is number two here. He has a lot of pipes and things, like are pipes particularly good for anything? Is it because he has engines in the front? All right, unfortunately the go sign is right in the middle of me here, but look at this. Oh, oh, do these curved blocks like the concave ones. I feel like the concave ones have some very, very strange aerodynamic effects because these ones should actually be catching water. But by the looks of it, it might be a thing with these curved blocks. Let's slap some on and just see what happens. All right, so here it is, the blocks that this guy was using. And I'm just going to put them on a similar way right behind here and just see what kind of effect it seems to have. So I think he had it like that going on. So let's see if this makes us any faster for some reason. We were at like 113, 112, 113 with this particular design. So what does this one do? 
Yeah, I don't know. It, I'm slower. So it didn't seem to have any like unexpected results for me. So I'm not quite sure how those top competitors have gotten so much more speed out of their vehicles. And I'm out of ideas on what to do with my particular creation to add any more speed. So let me know if you have any ideas in the comments on where that speed may have been coming from or any other strategies that you may uh, think could work in this particular race. I'm really happy that we actually made it to the top 10. I was not expecting that to be honest. So uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future content like this. And also if you enjoyed this video, then you're probably also going to enjoy this video right here. So go ahead and click that, watch it all the way through and uh, get me some YouTube watch time because uh, that's, that's some tasty goodness right there. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.